Hey everybody, it's your girl the Empress Chanel coming at you with another video. Monday, water signs on Monday. So we're going to get our weekly going. We're going to see what y'all got going on this week. The energetic read, that's Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Alright, so first of all, I want to say um, gratitude to everyone who is returning and sharing your energy to me and to everybody who shared their energy with me for the very first time i 100 percent adore you and i appreciate it and gratitude so let me go ahead and get my prayer going dear my loving and most highest vibrational angels ancestors spirits guides totems and guardians i ask that you clarify this message from you through me I ask that you cover me in the whitest light from the highest vibration as I deliver this message to my collective element of water, signs of Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, where they're weak. Gratitude, gratitude, and gratitude. All right, y'all. Check my description box so you can find, um, you know, links to like birth charts and stuff like that because I talk about sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mercury, Mars, North Node, South Node, and even sometimes, um, you know, your Saturn placement because that's very karmic. So I'm going to use the mermaid messages for the weekly theme. All right, water signs. So your weekly theme is miracles. Miracles are going to happen this week. You are going to make miracles happen this week or a miracle is going to happen this week. So I'm going to sit that right there for me. And uh, we're going to get a Monday through Friday on this. That's how we're going to do this thing right here. All right, so what's going on? We're going to start with the oracles and then I'm going to clarify with the tarot. Oh, see, nah, y'all yeah, got too much going on. Sabotage, projection already on a freaking Monday. Ah, what a signs. Y'all trying to make me work. And it's only Monday. Okay, we have self-care energy for Monday. That's the theme. Okay, Tuesday. Switching it up on y'all. I'm switching it up on y'all. Usually, y'all just see what comes out. But this week, we, I'm going to get a little bit more organized. Let's see how that goes. Wednesday, Thursday. And this doesn't have to be on the exact days. It could just be like, you know, towards the beginning, towards the middle, towards the end of the week. You know, because time is a construct, we always say. <laughs> okay. Overall theme of the week from the Oracle cards is divine feminine energy or some sort of feminine energy. Um, and we have messages and dreams as something that is hidden. Hmm. So make sure you guys are paying attention, very close attention to your dreams this week. Keep a dream journal um, because you may be receiving um, or have been receiving some sort of messages through them. And they're like, hey, wait a minute, we need you to pay attention. We've been sending you some messages in reference to your miracle. All right, so let's get Monday going. I'm going to use the Mystic Monday cards. Knight of Wands. Okay, self-care and energy. And the Knight of Wands definitely gives me energy. That gives me, um, you know, young, wild, and free vibes. Um, on the move. Oh, we got a lot of fire energy going on with y'all this week. Y'all may have fire in your chart. That's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, so... All right, we got the Wheel of Fortune coming here in the middle of the week. Okay. You know, major arcanas are things that are inevitable. And the Wheel of Fortune is like the karmic wheel or, you know, the completion of a cycle. So there's some sort of completion of a cycle coming here this week. Don't forget, we are still in Mercury retrograde in Libra. And we have like five other planets that are also still retrograde one of them being saturn which is the karmic planet so a lot of karmic justice going on this season all right by friday we have the seven of wands um and the week as i said feminine at the bottom of this deck we have the empress so there is divine feminine energy that you guys have this week this could be in reference to uh like i said this miracle that you guys have going on um, this could be something that you all manifested you created because the, the divine feminine is a creator the empress is a creator of things okay she's very fertile she's very wealthy um with ideas um and able to create we have the six of wands as something that you don't see. So this is a victory, success. Like I said, um, it, 
whatever it is, your answers are going to come in your dreams. So let's clarify this. So Monday, we got self-care oracle with the Knight of Wands. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Monday. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Monday. We got the Page of Wands, which is here on Tuesday. And we have the Queen of Cups or the Mother of Cups. So you guys may be receiving some sort of... Um, good news keep going some sort of offer or a good news offer um, this is from a feminine um, energy because the theme of the week is this feminine empress energy so this could be someone who um, either you work for or that you want to work for or that you want to work with someone who you hold in high regard a feminine you hold in high regard as like a boss type of feminine um, could be a mother because we do have the uh, queen of cups here and the queen of cups is revered as a mother she's very caring very nurturing um, very understanding uh, those type of uh, things uh, so this could be a mother you could be a mother or you could be a man a father um, just embodying these qualities but there's some sort of good news coming in here in reference to either a child because we do have the page of wands twice um, and we have the six of wands here as well which is what you don't see coming so there's something going on here, you guys. Now, this could just be the child in you, or this could literally just be something that's very, very good news in reference to something that you have gone and put yourself out there for. Because like I said, the Knight of Wands is young, wild, and free. You, you've you taken self-care, and you know what you wanted in your life and your life path, and you used all your energy to manifest these things. Look in the back here. It looks like a jar back there. Okay, we've got the candles going. We've got flowers. Maybe this person is taking some sort of spiritual bath to re-energize. We have energy right there. We know that candles and fire is in reference to energy. So I feel like something that you guys have put all of your energy into, it's like finally you're going to be successful in it. You're going to start hearing back about it, um, news back about it here on this Monday or toward the beginning of the week because we do have the page of wands here again for um, Tuesday under facade and beliefs. So this person in this picture is, has taken the mask off, turned it around and really looked inside, deep inside to see all those cords and attachments that they had, had to see them for what they really were. So on Tuesday, let's see what we got going on. Clarify the page of wands. We have the Five of Wands and we have the Queen of Pentacles. All right, so we already got two queens. So definitely this week's theme is about the Divine Feminine here. Um, <coughs> like I said, this could be you embodying all these queens because the Empress embodies all of the energies of every queen. She's the Queen of Cups. She's the Queen of Pentacles, she's the Queen of Swords, and she is the Queen of Wands. And she also has High Priestess energy, so she's very intuitive as well. She knows what's going on. So um, I feel like Tuesday here, it's almost like separating yourself from the competition, okay? Um, not letting uh, things that used to cloud your mind before cloud your mind once again about this because you understand that before that's what the judgment at the bottom of the day or the sun I'm sorry at the bottom of the day that's what um made final decisions or illuminated to you that has been illuminated to you before that that was unhealthy behavior and like I said the mother of pinnacles this could be about a mother I'm sorry you guys this is definitely about some sort of feminine energy or someone who really embodies a lot of feminine energy because the mother of pinnacles or the page I mean the queen of pinnacles is also a mother she is seen as wifey material she's nurturing she's caring she um is fertile you know takes care of home those type of deal um very stable, very grounded, very loyal, very true, uh, very forgiving. So either someone is seeing you guys as this, okay? The facade has been taken off, has been taken away about the things that they uh, were plugged into. Maybe they believed certain things about you and um, you put all your energy into self-care, into... Um, 
you know, making a name for yourself, into doing something for yourself. But whatever it is that you guys have been working very hard on, you're going to start to see progress in that, I'm feeling like, especially toward the beginning, going into the middle of the week. Can I get one more for Tuesday? And we have Daughter of Cups, so Page of Cups. There's a lot of children out here, too. I mean, it is the middle of the week, the work week. A lot of us do have children, so... Um, Oh, someone may have to apologize for causing some sort of uh, rift in reference to someone's beliefs here. Some sort of mother might be making a child apologize. So that's for some of you guys, um, because we do have the five of wands here, like I said, for Tuesday. So that's either some sort of competition. Um, there's a change in circumstances because Monday here on the six of wands, we have... Um, A butterfly which is about change and, and transformation so there's some sort of change and transformation going on here in reference to a family mothers children um, there may be some sort of apology for some you know someone may have believed something and then they really had to look at themselves and, and it's feeling really bad and deciding to go ahead and and make things right here and it's either in reference to children or it has to do with a child, but somebody wants to argue or start some sort of argument, but you guys aren't even putting your energy into anything like that anymore. And I'm feeling like you guys have like, y'all got this in the bag, whatever this is. Somebody's going to try to start some shit with y'all in the beginning of the week. I'm not surprised. It could be a karmic. Wednesday, we have the Wheel of Fortune with the Two of Cups. Um, and the theme for that is past. Didn't I say that? <laughs> I literally just basically said that when I was talking about like this retrograde and people wanting to come back. So this is karmic. It's this karmic. Um, this may be a child's father or mother. Fit it in your story how you will. Um, they may try to um, come in here because that Knight of Wands energy is somebody who's single, who's free, who does what they want to do. Um you may have two or more children. Look at this. I didn't mean for all these. It's just messy. It's messy and it's all over the place. Here's the Empress again. So this could be in reference to a baby mother or you, some other feminine. But it's a lot of females out here. And when I see a lot of females, all I think of is drama. <laughs> drama queen. All right. So past lack suffering, wheel of fortune. So some sort of karma is getting going to be passed out this week. Two of Cups in reference to some sort of relationship or union. What in the world? This is very messy because my cards keep going all over the place. And I don't know. Look at that. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. But somebody doesn't want it to end. Somebody doesn't want something to stop. We have the Eight of Cups. Can we get one more for Wednesday? Death. Hmm. So either you all are putting the end to a situation here by Wednesday, or there will be an actual death, and that's my condolences to you all. But um, with the death card being here and the Eight of Cups, which is um, basically emotionally checking out walking away the wheel of fortune the end of a cycle it's the end and then we have the two of cups here some sort of um communication so um there's some sort of transformation death rebirth energy that's happening here um this week there's a big change it's like the tables are turning some sort of wheel uh I, obviously the wheel of fortune but uh the tables are turning on a situation and I feel like someone has taken great care to make sure that something stayed in the past, but it's coming to the, it's coming to the light this week. What's going on by the end of the week? What we got for Thursday? Three of swords. Clarifying the three of cups. And the oracle for Thursday is sun, strength, and empowerment. Now, that death card is also death and rebirth. 
And the Wheel of Fortune here for Wednesday is also like the end of a cycle, but the beginning of a new cycle. So um, someone's beginning a new cycle by walking away from someone, by keeping putting something in the past for good. Like, I feel like whatever happens here in the beginning of this week with all these messages and or you know, something that has to do with children and mothers and maybe baby father or someone who's very single because this is immature. This could be like um, with queens in reference to knights. That could be somebody who's older that was dating someone who was maybe younger than them. So maybe um, some of y'all maybe had um, children or things like that by somebody that was younger than you or um, you're just dealing with somebody who's young minded. But either way, all that energy that, that you put into yourself, that you put into your self-care, that you put into your children, taking care of yourself and doing everything that you have been doing for the past, I don't know, could have been 10 years with this 10 of <laughs> with this uh, wheel of fortune right here, which is the 10 and we have past 10 years, 10 months, 10 weeks, 10 days, whatever it is that you've been putting all your energy into and taking self-care for yourself. Success and victory is here. It's popping the week off with transformation with that butterfly to by Wednesday we got this death and rebirth energy so no longer in lack by Thursday we have three of cups and three of swords so somebody had you in some sort of painful painful cycle I feel like it's going to be illuminated to you all look at this Thursday wheel of fortune again so whatever this is, is coming to a complete end. Maybe some, something is going to be illuminated. Somebody is going to be put on blast this week, okay? Because we have the Nine of Cups right here. I feel like this is something that maybe you guys um, had been wishing for. Like, just, you know, you have been asking. Like, just tell me, show me what's going on. Illuminate something to me. Like, and then I don't think that you all dwelled on it. I feel like you guys asked for it and then let the divine do what they had to do. Okay, because like I said, Thursday, we have three of cups, three of swords. So three of swords is like uh, backstabbing, betrayal, heartbreak. Like I said, this could be some sort of X that you have coming in. Put it in your story how you will. If this is about work, you, you know, you guys know your story. Um, I can only say it how I see it, and, you know, how I can convey it with words. But we do have the um, nine of cups here that has the moon up there we have the wheel of fortune with the moon and an owl up here an owl is like ancestors getting involved that's wisdom from beyond with the moon card being right there and the three of swords so this could be in reference to a family somebody's going to find out some sort of heartbreaking news um either when it comes to um, a partner an ex-partner um or a family member um, but it is going to be something that uh, is definitely going to close out a cycle this week. You guys got cycles closing this week. Possibly, uh, more than likely with a fire sign or another water sign. So for Friday, we have the Seven of Wands and the Tower. And the theme for Friday is third eye clarity. So like I said, by the end of this week and with Thursday's theme being the sun and strength and empowerment, by Thursday's theme, you guys are like shining the light intuitively. And by Friday, you're like, I knew it. But you're protected because the seven of wands is about being protected, protecting yourself and, and you know, from, from outside things. And being protected by the divine. It's like your um, intuition protects you. We have the tower here with the six of pentacles. Now the six of pentacles is, every time I see that card, I hear the theme song um, to the Jeffersons. Uh, moving on up. Because the six of pentacles is about getting a raise. It's about um, community work. It's about charity. Uh, it's about giving back. And watching, you know, things grow from giving back. And then we got the Ten of Cups. Wait a minute. Nine of Cups on Thursday and Ten of Cups by Friday. What's here at the bottom of the deck? Wow. And y'all know I don't have my cards in reverse. And this is reverse. We have the Five of Cups in reverse. So you guys are going to come out very happy, very victorious on top. Whatever this is that you guys have been going through, it is literally the end of a painful cycle. I feel like you guys are going to find out whoever this is that has been being very childish, 
They may have even done something toward your children or said something to your children or about your children or about your parenting of your children. But I feel like whoever this is, they have done something very childish. They tried to force you in some sort of third party situations here in the past, tried to say that you were lacking, that you were, you know, had these kids in some sort of suffering and this and that. But you guys have been getting dreams about it. And I feel like you're going to get one more this week because we have dreams messages and we have the six of wands right here and we have the ace of swords right behind that you guys are gaining some sort of clarity and you're not going to be sad about it you're not crying over spilled milk maybe at one point you were that's why the five of cups is here because five of cups is about crying over that three of cups that's throwing a pity party for yourself sulking over that but in reverse that's turning around and looking at that two of cups that you had all along that self-love here that we see in the middle of the week in wednesday that self-love is very prominent and it shows you may even have a partner you know by your side and things like that but either way truth clarity understanding will be here by the end of this week whoever this is this knight of wands here because this knight of wands is a hothead too this could be somebody that definitely put you in a situation. It could be in reference to a fire sign or somebody who has fire and water in their chart. But either way, it's the close of a site. Like this is like big coming in this week. We had the Wheel of Fortune twice and the Tower. And we saw the Empress twice. So you guys, the, the masks are coming off for all these fake ass, childish ass people that want to put you in fights, arguments, cause conflict for you. Like I said, this could be a baby mother, a baby father, someone that you work with, someone that you used to work with or date. Either way, this is somebody that you have some sort of interpersonal relationship with. Nine of Pentacles at the top of the deck. You're going to attain a level of fulfillment uh, when it comes to this. It's not even going to be like funny. Five of Swords. You're going to find out how jealous somebody really was ever since you for a long time since you've been single and doing your thing they thought you was never going to be able to pick yourself up but look at here they got another thing coming this week but we cutting the deck on the chariot and y'all know the chariot is victorious energy so if y'all got any sort of sports things going on this week the chariot is about sports that's about winning and things like that but that's also about ushering in like a divine victory and that's forward movement, unstoppable forward, fast movement, no turning back. So congratulations to you guys this week. If this is you, um, you all, I feel like have been listening to the divine. You're getting definite 100% clarity and illumination in reference to this third party that like, I feel like y'all like the way I'm feeling right now, y'all didn't even know, like y'all had an inkling that things was going on in the background. And things were happening because you were seeing things here and there. People was acting funny. You maybe stopped, you know, pulled your energy back from certain people. But y'all have been getting dreams. This feminine probably had been showing up in your dreams or whatever. Or you are divine feminine who had been getting dreams and clarity and things like that. Someone could have been blocking your dreams. Or sending you fake dreams, like fake beliefs and things like that. Sending dreams to your children. Like this shit is crazy. But y'all are going to find out who this is that's been playing around with y'all. The divine is going to put them out there. And everything is going to come to the light. It always does. It's the season of justice. All right. So let me get, um, I'm going to get some advice for y'all. What's the advice for this week? Miracles. I, I just keep looking up at the theme of the week is miracles. It's going to seem like a miracle. Whatever this is that came out, y'all have been wishing and praying and hoping on this because we got the nine and ten of cups out here. Y'all, that's Pisces energy. We got the nine and ten of cups out here. Like, are you kidding me? Mother of cups and mother of pentacles. And we've seen the empress twice and divine feminine over here. This has something to do with a mother or a baby mother. But either way, or something that you just nurtured from... From the beginning you know how people say their business is their baby you know this could have something to do with y'all businesses anything but either way so seven of swords so the advice being seven of swords i'm feeling like that means because seven of swords is also about one removing themselves from a situation it's about reflecting assessment and control and it's also about being very strategic okay so plan your work work your plan continue to do whatever it is that y'all been doing play the background all right and, and just kick back and watch the divine just put all this shit on blast we got the lovers at the bottom of the deck with the seven of cups and we have the queen of wands and temperance at the top of the deck
Look at y'all doing y'all work. <laughs> but whoever this Queen of Wands is, it's, it could be a feminine fire sign that's up against y'all in competition. We did see the Five of Swords. That's jealousy. That's envy. Somebody could have been jealous of your situation and how you deal with your, eat, your, your shit, your kids and all that stuff. Either way, either way, the divine advice, chill back. <laughs> you going to watch all play out this week. It's all coming to an end, really. Woo, especially towards the end of the week with this wheel of fortune wheel of fortune tower like yikes y'all might find out there's more than one person involved i mean it's got to be if it's been going on for this long and it's this this big uh deal that's coming to an end all right cancer scorpio pisces y'all let me know in the comments by the end of the week let me know what's going on by the time i do my uh my uh collective reading on friday i need to know i need to know. oh okay but anyway so if nobody told y'all today i'm gonna tell you i love you peace